Welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. Last time, uh, I threw a tantrum. Do I still have charge if I miss? No, it expends it. Oh! And I stomp my little feet. <laughs> Why is this game doing this to me? Uh... And spat out my dummy and uh, had a little cry. I'm dying out here, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing was uh, really infantile. And going back over it while I was editing it made me feel very stupid. I having to, to re-record that whole part just put me in such a bad mood to begin with. And yeah. <laughs> well, you can see the result for yourself. It's... it's something. Whatever. That's done with. We're ready to move on. So... Let us do so. So, in this section... Cool. Right, right into this. Hmm. Oh, what a sublime heroine Murasaki Noe is. She is written to be the ideal woman of the Heian period, the quintessential Heian beauty. Do you understand? Speaking of Murasaki Noe, here's a question for you, Yon. Uh, in the tale of Genji, Murasaki Noe is portrayed as a woman of the highest class in terms of appearance, intelligence, and character. In the poem that Genji, the protagonist, sends to her, what did he compare her to? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care about this. Cherry Blossom. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let me out. Okay, I just... yeah, um... Mm, I suppose it was an easy question. It means the image of you as beautiful as the wild cherry blossom will never leave my mind. How refined compared to them, you guys are nothing but- I just- I'm- fuck you. Fuck you. You know, I thought my irritation was done with, but whenever a code is on screen, I just... I get irrationally angry. I'm worried about Ryoji-san, and it's even affecting my concentration. This is a grave situation. What should I do? Don't ask me. He's standing right behind you. <laughs> That's uh, all right. It. it seems like Asan has been staring at me a lot lately. I hope she's not going to embarrass me again. Mm. I didn't know you could be embarrassed. News to me. So many things happened during the school trip. People got all crazy and did things they wouldn't normally do. For example, peeking at girls in the hot springs. That was you, was it? <laughs> Why does everyone know about this? Oh fuck. Say that again. Go on. Uh, hey, lighten up. I was only joking. Fuck you. Career experience was so boring. Just the same stuff over and over. Uh, she's right, actually. I should have just ditched. Even just being in class like usual would have been more worth my time. Wow, yeah. I know, right? And I already have a part-time job, so it's not like I needed to learn what having a job is like. They just made us work for free! Yeah, it's kind of a bunch of bullshit, huh? Aren't there laws against that kind of thing? Like, honestly. Okay, what are we doing? Ikari's a nine. Uh, do I have an Empress Persona on me? No. I don't. I guess I should go fix that. Huh, Gabriel's an Empress. Oh. Is this acceptable? Well, that's convenient. Alright. And you know what? While I'm down here, why don't I go ahead and pick these up? Now you're here. Take this box, something tells me it's for you. It's a token of gratitude with the missing the missing salary man left with us. You rescued him, right? I won't ask questions, just take it. Alright. There's still more. Missing woman, same thing, yeah. Diamonds. Great. Mega Drive, I think that like gives you crit chance, right? Yeah, oh, it just it gives you apt people, okay. So if I already had this on a persona, it's not actually gonna do anything. What are you doing down here? Oh, it's these two. That guy's been following me. Is he blushing? Um, am I in trouble? I'm so tired of these two. Hey man, what should I do? Every time I look at her, she seems prettier. Ugh, I'd have to be happy with just looking at her. Oh my god, I hate, hate, hate. Yon, things have finally settled down a bit. I'll be shifting more responsibilities onto the underclassmen in the student council so that they can gain more experience. And with all that's happened, I'd like to have some time for myself. <laughs> I'll still show up to the meetings, of course. Oh, right. I was just thinking of leaving as well. If it's all right with you, would you care to join me today? Greatly appreciate Thank you. 
Actually, there was another place I was hoping to stop by today. Interesting. So this is what the interior looks like. It's smaller than I expected. Uh... <laughs> is... <laughs> Wait... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? These both seem like really condescending or just weird. Um, do you know how to eat it? Of course. Don't be ridiculous. Or so I'd like to say, but truthfully, I'm not that familiar. I saw a commercial for fast food once, but I didn't expect that picking it up with bare hands was the norm. Just goes to show how out of touch I am. Hmm. My lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem. In all honesty, it's a good thing you're here. Is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Oh, sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. Oh? I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. She's trying to butter me up? I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Mitsuru seems to trust me. I feel like our relationship has grown. We were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Eat your hamburgers, Mitsuru. I ate burgers with Mitsuru, then headed back to the dorm. Oh, welcome back. Oh, look who it is. You're late. Ryoji kun was just leaving. I'm late? What do you mean I'm late? Was I was I expected? Oh, hey there. Chilly out, huh? You don't go catching a cold. You know, I stop by here pretty often. Weird we never see each other. Well, I'm out of here. See you later. Later, Yoji. Was that Yoji's son? Yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Really? We have rules about that? Yeah, but Grijo Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Yeah, you know, you said that one a few times already. Dangerous? Ryoji-kun? Think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. I don't think that's what I guess was referring to. But having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei kun. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. That's true. Hmm? What's up, Ai John? I'm fine. It's just. I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine, so I don't understand what it feels like to live. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, she's uh, she's becoming self-aware. Really? Oh, you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Uh... That's not necessarily true. I'm sure we could, uh, we could come up with something irreparable, if that's what you're looking for. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess hell finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. I don't remember that. That feels like a betrayal of the character. Junpei's studying? Unbelievable. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. 
Well, yeah, but I, that was like the whole point, right? Of the the, the anti shadow weapon project was the whole, the whole idea was that you would be able to make a machine that could operate a persona, but the conceit of that requires that they have you know some individualism, some volition of their own, which you know. I, I gotta be honest, it doesn't strike me as the best idea that, that the Courage Group has ever had. And they've had lots of really bad ideas, so... You know, that's, uh... <laughs> it's, we're, we're not saying nothing with that one. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you... It makes me... Uh, hey, don't worry about me. Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why, but I never want to leave your side. Just gotta reiterate this thing. <laughs> it has been, uh, you know, 50 hours or whatever since uh, I guess his introduction, so just in case you forgot that. I want to protect you at all costs, to be there for you always. I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. Uh, I'm sure that's fine. I guess this isn't about to go do something rash. That's totally... that's totally fine. Uh, does Aga-san not get along with Ryoji-san very well? He's a strange guy, but I think he's plenty polite and interesting. Ah, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject's a lady in her 30s with a beauty spot under her eye. She can dance the flamenco, so I wonder what she'd look like with a rose in her mouth. Next is news. Apathy Syndrome, go away. Uh, I think that's one of the characters from Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, which I don't know a lot about, so... Yeah, hmm. Um... Don't worry, Koromaru-san. I won't do anything reckless. Ryoji-san is dangerous, I'm certain of it. The things are fine for now, but one day, that will change. Please do not worry, though. I will be there to protect you. I did get some stuff here, right? I mean, these seem like they're not really gonna matter terribly either, actually. Oh, well. Mindful Boot Camp. It appears to be software that teaches mindfulness meditation. Even those who have a hard time concentrating will be able to focus their minds with this program. Lessons on proper breathing and posture begin to play. My head feels clearer than before. I feel like the meditation has helped me train my mind. I got SP. 5 SP. All that. I mean, I guess at this point, like, there's... <laughs> it's, it's not like I'm doing anything else with the time. So sure, 5 SP. Why not? Oh yeah, I got a message from Ryoji. Oh really? It looked like he wasn't at school today. Maybe something urgent came up. I want to see you. Please come to the music room. Sorry for the short notice, but I need to see you right now. Ryoji's acting weird. I should head to the music room later. Interesting. Ryoji-san didn't come to school today. I wonder what happened. Ryoji's absent today, man. Class seems so quiet without him. I never realized till now, but he had a sort of presence that would liven up a room. Uh, where is the music room anyway? Oh, here it is. The music room is quiet. That reminds me, Ryoji said he wanted to come to me- come to- wanted me to come to the music room. I think that's what he said, fuck it. Let's do that thing. Hey. Yo. Thanks for coming. No problem. Can this wait until tomorrow? Uh... Are you not feeling well? Oh, right. Uh, I was absent today. Well, that's not exactly it. It's just... How do I put this? 
I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time. And I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. Thanks. It hasn't been that long since we met, but I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. I'd appreciate it if you didn't bring that up, actually. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. Whoa. Just like this. Hmm. So that's the same song as the music box, right? I think. It's been a little while. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. Is it also the same melody that he played the first time we, we spent time in this room with him? All I can tell you is that whatever that song is, it's completely new. There's no basis for it in the original game. Or, I'm pretty sure. I, I feel like I would recognize it. Hmm. When did you learn that? I guess I wanted you to hear this song. When I saw those couples in Kyoto, or when I visited you guys at the dorm, I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone. It's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going. Both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. Oh? What about you? That's interesting. I don't understand. I don't really get it myself, but I... Excuse me. Uh oh Oh, it's you. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. Wait, what the hell's going on right now? <laughs> okay, uh... Alright, alright, uh... uh what what have you got for me, video game? Uh, you've you've thrown me for a loop here. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Uh, no, not me. What? Oh, uh. Oh, I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but. What the fuck's going on? What's going on? What? I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? I... thought I was. Hmm? Uh... Fuka and I left the music room and returned to the dorm. The melody Ryoji played on the piano remained fresh in my mind. What the fuck was all that?! <laughs> Well, I have some I have some thoughts about this, but I kind of think I think it would be better if I if I let the next day play out before I get to that. So let's uh, let's push ahead for the moment. There's a box. Oh, cool. Tanaka crap. Yeah, hooray. Here are some items I'm never going to use, probably. Tomorrow's a full moon. Not like that means anything anymore, though. Man, there's nothing to do. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll go hang out with Ryoji. Yeah, uh... He's, um... He's a little elusive at the moment, I think. I didn't see him at school today, but he was probably just ditching, so he should be around. Ah, wait! Crap! I don't know where he lives! You think these shoes are actually any good? Null Dark Insta-Kill. 
Oh yeah, I mean, okay, they're pretty good. Dead son, I swear that I will protect you, come what may. So, um, please do your best on your exams. Okay. Oh, I guess those are happening soon. I guess that's something akin to the idea that a machine, at that, as a machine, she is replaceable. She may be programmed that way, but it's still painful to hear. There's gonna be a full moon soon, isn't there? I know there's not much else we can do, but I can't help but feel a bit restless. I guess I'll just have to deal with it. Mochizuki asked Mitsuro out. Huh, I'm surprised he's still alive. I used to think he was all talk, I guess he's got guts of his own. This feels kinda weird, huh? There's a full moon tomorrow, but nothing's happening. It's almost too quiet. Well, I guess it just goes to show we're back to our ordinary everyday lives. Huh, for some reason, I feel a little restless. Hey, we made it to December. What is Tanaka sending me? I'm so fucking done with this guy. Oh, well, I guess, I, I mean, I just said I'm done with him, but I guess I'm gonna go see him today, because what else am I doing? You're kind of interrupting, like, the big sort of, like, you know, plot turning point here, dude, so you better have something good for me. Ah, uh, Yon, good evening. You came for another life lesson, didn't you? Why, it's written all over your face! Of course, it'll be entirely free of charge. <laughs> oh my, such enthusiasm! Have I got you hook, line, and sinker? Just the other day, my high school organized a class reunion. That sounds like a laugh, doesn't it? Sounds like a hassle. Indeed it was. I had to pay for transportation and, of course, my hotel room. I doubt you'd understand how I feel since you're still in high school, but a class reunion is a very important event. It's the perfect opportunity to show everyone how pathetic their lives turned out. <laughs> Like that cad who made fun of me for eating plain rice. Or the ingrate who threw my holy socks in the trash. Now, they both look at me with envy. What they make in a year, I make in a month. My business is doing great. And I'd say I have a satisfying private life as well. Let me take you under my wing as our exclusive model. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, uh, for some reason, I don't feel particularly enthused at this concept. Don't think I would extend this offer to just anyone. Hmm. President Tanaka is opening up to me. I understand him a little better now. Like, even if I believed that he fully had, you know, good intentions with this, I don't think... Oh, remember that 40,000 yen you gave me? <laughs> I'd say you've gotten your money's worth at this point. I don't think that this man is able to be trusted regardless of his intentions. Case in point right here. My time is worth at least a hundred thousand yen per hour, you know. Just think of all the free advice I've given you. You can thank me later. Uh-huh. It's getting late, so I'll go back to the dorm. Good morning. I intend to do my best to protect everyone. Even if that means I... Well, well, where's this coming from? No. It's nothing. Please, don't worry about it. I just wanted to share my feelings with you. Okay. Oh, we actually do get to do something. Hmm. Dude, I guess just flew out the door. And Ryoji didn't turn up today either. Weird, huh? Oh, Yon, are you leaving now? If that's the case, there was a place I wanted to stop by on the way back. Okay. Apparently Mitsuru's entire S-Link is her making us take her places that she doesn't want to <laughs> go to alone. Thank you. Thank you. It's over at the strip mall, so it shouldn't take long to get there. It piqued my interest a while ago, but I could never bring myself to go alone. As I just said. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> so this takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. Yeah, although the ones you get here don't actually have any octopus in them at all, apparently. I don't know how that works. I mean, that does make sense. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. Okay, come on. Come on with this. Like, okay. Mitsuru doesn't know how to, like, eat, eat out a, like, takeaway or whatever. Like, okay, sure. This is stupid. <laughs> this is, like, this is dumb. This is, I, okay. 
Sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. Uh, why not give it a try? Seeing is believing, I suppose. Excuse me, um, one piece of takoyaki, please. What? Oh, they're only sold in multiples? How generous. So I'll receive an entire tray for this price. So it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. This fucking game, it's takoyaki. It doesn't help that I've literally never had this before, so I, I can't really comment on it in any meaningful way. Takoyaki, I don't think I've ever, even ever had octopus, full stop. I mean, it's just not really... It's just, you don't really, you know, run into it. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. Mm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Hmm? Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. That reminds me, Akihiko once mentioned this place. Hmm. Speaking of Akihiko, don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it, but I've known him for quite a long time. It feels like something's changed. Maybe he's just maturing. Uh... I should probably not try to overthink this too much. I don't actually remember this at all. Mitsuru's S-Link is obviously one of the... It's probably the hardest one to get access to in the original game. And it's late, so... Like when it unlocks, it's kind of, yeah. I, I this doesn't this doesn't feel very familiar. Are you sad? Why would I be sad? I'm glad to see he's finally growing up. <laughs> You're reading too much into it. I guess so. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. Uh. I don't feel like maybe you're in love is the right way to go with it. The two of them obviously have a, a pretty... They're pretty close, but... I don't know. I'm actually just a little curious to see what this option uh, <laughs> results in, so we'll go with that. Maybe you're in love. In love? No, it's not that. Is that how it looks to you? I didn't realize. I was just, you know, I was just supposing. He's just a friend. Or, should I say, teammate? It's a bit hard to describe. In any case, that is the extent of our relationship. Mitsuru seems to have a lot on her mind. I feel like our relationship has grown. Yeah, I think that mostly a result of... I mean... Aside from anything in the actual text, is that they don't want... <laughs> since she's like, you know, a romance option, they wouldn't want the player to feel crowded out in that particular instance. Compromise made for, you know, player gratification. I, well, I mean, not necessarily. There's no reason that, again, like, the two of them are known each other a long time and they're, they're close in some ways, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they should have a romantic relationship, right? Well, at the end of the day, it's all up to the writer. Well, what do I know? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling. Just forget I said anything. Uh, I heard nothing. Thank you. That takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. I decided to go back to the dorm. There will be a full moon tonight, but we won't be conducting an operation. I was thinking I might summon Juno and search around a little, just in case, though. Oh, by the way, have you seen Igus, Yonkun? No, I haven't. Mm hmm. Hmm. Igus has been coming home late recently. She didn't used to. I wonder if something happened. I hope she's okay. Igus didn't like Ryoji-kun from the moment she met him. Do you think they just have clashing personalities or something? Uh, something like that. It's probably because he's always flirting, to be honest. I don't really like him that much either. <laughs> yeah, I got that impression. Oh, right. And there's a full moon tonight, so I'll be keeping an eye on things with Juno, just in case. 
So, let's go to Tartarus another night, okay? Uh, I don't know. With this kid's hit points, probably. Sure. Image Muscle Trainer. It looks like software that stimulates muscles through image training. Uh, what does that even mean? I watch these strength training videos and imagine yourself participating. <laughs> this is so dumb. I watch the videos and picture myself working out in my head. <laughs> Don't do them. Just imagine it. <laughs> For some reason, I feel as exhausted as if I actually did the training. I feel like the image training may have actually strengthened my muscles. This is so dumb. <laughs> uh, it's gotten late. I should head back to my room. Oh boy, maybe I should have saved my game. Oh well. Too late. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird. And there's no one around. <sighs> Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You... You've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. Uh... I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are... my enemy. Your... enemy? Enemy... That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was... a long time ago. Yes. We've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who... am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you... Your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow? now. I remember everything. I know exactly who and what I am. Palladium! Don't 
be foolish, I guess. You can't win. I'm even stronger than before. The machine is created to serve a specific purpose. I will destroy you. That is my only reason for existing! It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. Should I talk about this now? Ugh. This this whole part's gonna go on for a little bit. Uh, you know what? I'd like to talk a little bit just about that cutscene specifically, since, you know, we just saw it. Uh, it was much longer than the equivalent from the original, actually. I spent a lot more time establishing some of the details and making things a bit clearer, which I suppose is good. I mean, you know, you know, same, same caveat that I always give about the actual direction of those cutscenes. Although this one was, there was a little more going on than than the typical animated cutscenes we've seen in this game. It was trying a little harder, but it still wasn't quite. It wasn't quite the same. It, it, you know, whatever. I, I've been over this. Let's not dwell too much on that. But they also did. I mean, they yeah, yeah. It just it just all all the parts of it. They just took more time basically for it. Uh, to let it settle. I think it was actually pretty pretty effective of what I was trying to communicate there. Uh, other than that, I don't want to get too ahead of things. Let us resolve all of this before I get on my spiel. Yukari? What's the matter? Well, I realize it's a full moon tonight. You did too, huh? Oh god. I'm turning into a workaholic. <sighs> Wait, is something actually going on? We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. What? Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Igus right after that. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I've pinpointed her location! The Moonlight Bridge! All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. I guess! I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. I remember who I am. Who he is. Leader. I feel like I've been I've been misled slightly. <laughs> yeah, in the intro, you get, you know, she, her like arms off. She looks fine. Maybe that was too hard. They didn't want to like model her without the. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. Uh, save your energy. I'm sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? <sighs> Ryoji kun? Wait, what are you doing here? Igus is no longer moving. She appears to have stopped functioning. What is going on? It's all my fault. W you did this? Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us, who or what are you? Turns out, 
I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Appraiser, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Appraiser? I remember everything now. A terrifying truth about the shadows and about me. I can't... It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. As for the appraiser, it draws the maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the appraiser? That's you? That's right. His maternal being? What is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igis took me down, and I returned the favor. Igis? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely, so out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him. And by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. When his persona awakened, the twelve shadows did as well. Hmm, that line's a little different, and also incorrect, right? Because we got attacked by the first of the twelve shadows before the awakening. Eh, minor quibble. All in order to become one with me. I always read it as main character's presence. Uh, in the area, awaken the shadows rather than his awakening to his persona. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? And you were inside of him? Y you don't have to keep saying it like that. It's like, I mean, I'd like, I mean, I guess, like, oh, God, it's gonna tie into something else we gotta talk about later, but. How the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? Hmm. What, you think he's making it up? That's all my fault. I mean, that's not really true. I'm sorry, but there's more I need to tell you. Ryoshi-kun! It seems he fell unconscious. He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. I guess needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that. Right, this whole thing takes forever. Oh, man. What I just heard was shocking. Ryoji lived inside me for ten years, waiting to make contact with the Twelve Shadows. Then does that mean the boy named Pharos was actually Ryoji all along? So many questions remain unanswered, however Ryoji is unconscious. We took Ryoji and Igus home, the air surrounding us frigid and somber. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right, I'll see you then. Damn you, Ryoji. <sighs> We're just gonna go right there? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, whatever. Let's just do the whole thing. It looks like we're all here. Are you okay, ryoji kun Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the Shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. 
What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. The hell's Nyx? Are you asking me? I don't know. I'm not going to get into it specifically. In Greek mythology, Nyx is a god. She's a Greek deity who is synonymous with the night. And mother to both Thanatos and Hypnos, who we've... Uh, well, I guess we haven't really talked about Thanatos too much, but Hypnos was relevant earlier. Uh, the, the twin gods representing death and sleep. Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. I guess that's one way to interpret that. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. Oh. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that we'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? Everyone seems to have arrived at the same conclusion. Every single human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. The fall. But there's still a way to stop it from happening, right? <sighs> what? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? Everyone is at a loss for words. It's inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. What? When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. That's barely any time at all! Mix, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? We're gonna buy into the, the optimism. It's not that simple. Uh, more like it's not possible. When you're up against Nyx, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable, like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She... just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. Everyone is visibly distraught. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form. So I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him. And because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's arrival is unavoidable now. But you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me. And that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives. And by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. Thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, 
and it may be possible. Yoji-kun... If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, you'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. Not to get... <laughs> not to put too fine of a point on it, uh, right now, but... This statement is obviously quite ironic. <laughs> Something to be said for every living being that has ever and will ever exist. Certainly, uh, the, the sapients <laughs> among us understand that our inevitable death is, is a thing that we just have to deal with. It's tough, but... I don't think many people live their days paralyzed by fear under those circumstances. And I don't want to put you through something like that. I don't like either choice. I know. I don't want my memories to be erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. Uh, why is this happening? <sighs> you don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. Well, that's convenient timing. Kind of coincidental. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Ryuji-kun's presence vanished just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. <laughs> Ryuji-kun. I guess... he'll be back. Ryuji's revelation was all too devastating. The world will soon perish. Mankind is destined for extinction. A difficult decision lies before me. Death is inevitable. The appraiser truly did deliver a death sentence to us all. I can't think clearly right now. How do you even choose the way you want to die? But you know, we still have uh, we still have lotus juice, you know, so that's good. Uh, yeah, this episode's, this episode's kind of gone long already. I have a lot to talk about, but because uh, that that was a lot, and also we've got all <laughs> we got the gang to talk to. Uh, everybody's gonna have shit to say. I almost feel like I should do that now, but no, I'm trying to be disciplined. Okay, I can't just be going long every time. We're gonna I'm gonna <laughs> cause myself permanent damage playing this game that way. So all of that, we'll have to wait. For the next episode. Technically, we didn't hit an end of arc since, you know, there's no boss or whatever, but I can still do a little, uh, well, I don't know if it's gonna be so much of a playthrough summary, it's just gonna be me talking about all of this, and there's some stuff, and there's some new things, and oh, it's interesting. Ugh. It'll actually give me some more time to compose my thoughts as well, which is, you know, helpful. If that is at all something that you're <laughs> interested in, uh, in catching, I will have to see you on the next part. So I'll see you then. I just said see you then. Take care. Catch you on the flip side. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just... I'm going. Bye.